Hi, I'm Dr. Dan from Old Vitamin Pro, and we're going to talk a little bit about, about proline-rich uh, polypeptides. Now, but before I say that, you know, I'd like to just do a quick commentary about health in general. And, you know, health is, it's not like we can just figure it all out. You know, we've got a magic formula, and if you do this, this, and this, and this, everything will be great. You know, and, you know that's really a good way to sell stuff, but it just isn't true. So, you know, you're, you're different than everybody else on the planet. Everybody's a little bit different. So, you know, you're going to have to do things a little differently than the next person. And, you know, it's a quest to figure out. It's a constant process of fine-tuning, you know, discovering what your body needs and fine-tune. And that's what we do here at Ovidemra Pro. You know, we don't, uh, you know, we don't profess to have, have everything all figured out. Anybody who says they do, you know, gosh, they're just, you know, they're not being straight with you. So, you know, we like to share with you uh, things that we figure out and as we go. And, you know, we experiment with these things ourselves so that, you know, we can give you some personal insight into, um, into these effects if it's, if it's relevant. So, uh, let's get on here to the proline-rich polypeptides. Now, uh, this is also known as clostridin. And if you look at the, the research on proline, uh, what PRPs, what we'll call them from here on out, if you look at the research on PRPs, there are about 30,000 articles in uh, published literature. So this is fairly mainstream, and the benefits you know, have been known for a long time. And there are a lot of different formulas, way to, ways to go about this. And we're, gonna, you know, we're not going to you know, talk about every single way, and obviously we can't cover 30,000 articles, but we can at least give you an idea of what PRPs are and why you might be interested in them. So there are about 10 primary benefits and you know if we break it down a little bit further maybe uh, six or seven that are really important but you know all it would take is one really good uh, what good reason to take PRPs. Uh, but I think of what I want to do before I do that is kind of jump to the conclusion and because you know that way uh, you don't have to wade through all this to get to the, get to the end. So uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of give you, you know, the last paragraph here, and then we'll kind of work through uh, some of the details. So, for example, you know, in our house we've been taking PRPs in a couple of different formats for, for some time. And the first one that we took was a Metagenics product called Cognisure. We liked that a lot. It was a sublingual thing. And we noticed that it really did help our brain processes. It helped clean out, uh, we think, the beta amyloid proteins, because that's what... Uh, they're supposed to do and we think that was what had happened because we noticed that um, maybe you know you're looking for a word you just can't find it but you know there are certain things that you know that maybe you shouldn't have to know but you know someone asks you you know when um, some past president was born well you know you're not going to know that but other things you should know and you know you should know it but you just can't find it and when we took the beta amyloid protein clear out formula cognature, that seemed to really make a difference. Now, Metagenics has updated that, and now it's called uh, Cereva. And so we recommend you ease into that slowly if you're going to start taking it, um, which I recommend it. It's a great product, especially if you're over 45 or 50. Uh, you'll find that your memory um, will get sharper in a short time. But if you overdo it, if you go too fast, you know, you're actually going to drive things too, too, uh, too quickly, and there's no reason for that. So you might start off with one or two a week, and then work up to maybe five a week after that. So the other formula, formula that we've been using more recently is uh, called ImmunoG PRP from New Medica. Now, we've been becoming a fan of new Medica products. We've gotten to know them a little bit better, and, and uh, we're, we're definitely recommending a lot of their products, and we're real happy to do that. And we're, you know, our house is starting to fill up with new Medica products as well. But it's ImmunoG, you know, primarily we're taking a powder form because you need a lot of it, in, you know, especially as you get older. And, you know, for uh, kids, maybe not so much. But anyway, we put this ImmunoG in a... In a you know, here's the way I do it. My wife just puts it in some warm water and mixes it up and stirs, you know, maybe a, you know, a quarter glass, third of a glass of uh, water. And I really don't like it that way. So I put mine with a little bit of uh, the protein powder. Um, uh, New Medica has one they call, 
uh, absolute protein, you know, chocolate. So I put, you know, maybe a third of a scoop of that in with my uh, scoop of, of uh, Immuno-G PRP and some almond milk in one of my mini blenders. And that actually turns out uh, pretty good. So that way I can get my Immuno-G, my protein powder all at once. And now what we've noticed in our house is, um, you know, I think the mood, general mood of things is uh, better. And, you know, there's no good external reason for that. So we think that maybe it's the PRPs are helping us to uh, just take life's challenges and in, in more of a, more in stride. Um, you know, indigestion seems to be way down. You know, you can still take things like I had some uh, sausage last night, um, about four o'clock, and uh, my body wasn't too impressed with that. So, you know, I still had some problems, but generally if I eat a decent diet, you know, I don't have that issue. So, um, you know, it's really calmed things down a lot. So, and so let's jump in a little bit to, uh, to why this might be. Now, one of the that some of the benefits of the PRPs, you know, it's like, again, some 30,000 articles or maybe, maybe 15 or 20 that are relevant to what we're talking about today. But it has, seems to have a, a, a nice healing effect on the gut, you know, because once your gut's been damaged, you know, getting that repaired is, uh, is quite a task. Now, we know that there's an intimate relationship between your gut and your brain, so everything you do for your gut is certainly going to have a beneficial effect on your brain as well. And this is, I think, what we're seeing in our, in our own house. So, as a rule, you know, when we talk to people who are having chronic food problems, you know, they tell me that they need some gut repair, you know, we've kind of switched over from some other products that we might have had on our site a couple of years ago. You know, Apex, I'll mention the name. Uh, we've gone away from them, and now we're using more of this Numenica Immuno-G with, with excellent results and good feedback from, uh, from our clients. So, PRPs also are great immune system re regulators because, you know, the, the uh, PRP is actually from the colostrum, you know, some of that first, um, first milk that, that mammals produce. And now the cool thing about this milk is that it's not species specific. So milk from a platypus would be applicable to, uh, to a mouse or to a person. And also there seems to be no age effects. In fact, it's kind of interesting that even PRP is given to chickens, which are obviously not mammals, and they even get some benefit out of it. So this stuff um, doesn't seem to cause any problems with anybody that we've seen. And it just seems to be... Uh, more benefit than, you know, than risk. And, you know, if there is a risk at all. So, you know, um, helping to uh, regulate the immune system, of course, is, is fundamental because obviously, uh, you know, whether you're a, a mouse or, say, a person or a cow or a calf, you know, your immune system isn't really ready to deal with the outside world yet, you know, and all the onslaught that's coming. So this, this colostrum, you know, is an immune system regulator and booster that, that, that uh, is very fundamental for the life of mammals. So we find that, again, it works in uh, of, uh, all ages. So taking PRPs will help your body, you know, regulate the immune system and also, you know, fight things that you need to fight and also seems to calm down uh, some people's autoimmune problems. So also it seems to be an immune system um, or an inflammation regulator, meaning that you know, if you have an acute condition and you need an immune reaction or this anti or it's inflammation reaction, then it's there. You, know, you, can, you, you have that, but chronic inflammation is going to cause problems everywhere. So PRP seems to help the body calm that down. Um, you know, we've already talked about cognition and mood, and I think one of the main, I, it looks like PRPs act in two ways. One, it looks like they act on the gut, which we've already talked about, and every time you improve the gut, you're going to help improve the brain. But it seems like it also helps to act on the brain uh, specifically all by itself. In fact, when you dump in um, things like aluminum and some other heavy metals that can have some detrimental effects on the brain directly, 
PRP seem to, to help calm that reaction down. So that it seems to be brain protective. Now who couldn't use more of that? Um, it looks like PRPs help fight tumor growth. Now of course, in our personal experience, we can't really comment on that because how do you know? But so here you need some, uh, some long-term studies or animal studies, but it seems like the, you know, the PRP supplementation seems to be uh, real helpful to uh, fight tumors. And this is because they're, um, they're in stimulating production of TNF-alpha or tumor necrosis factor alpha, if uh, that means anything for you. Um, PRPs, it looks like they can slow direct cellular aging, so you know they work on uh, the internal mechanism of the, of each cell. You know, as well as uh, of course what we find with the healthier gut is certainly going to help. Um, allergic reactions and improved airway response seem to be another factor with uh, with PRPs. So. You know, allergies, of course, are a big deal, and um, you know, oftentimes people end up with things like asthma and other other respiratory conditions, and PRP seem to be helpful with that. So, anyway, um, that's kind of a basic overview of PRPs, and that's why we take it ourselves. And you know, say, say we've known some personal medicine from this, and when we do that, I like to do a video, take the time to put this out there so maybe uh, you'll get some help from this as well. But those are reasons to look into uh, taking PRPs for yourself and you might find that this is uh, another element that will help push your health forward. So that's, uh, that's PRPs for now. So thanks a lot for listening. Hopefully that was helpful.